Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we find ourselves in the North Sea exploring the new offshore landmarks North Sea pack created by the folks at Aerosoft. It's available now for Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, I'm really keen to hear what you guys think so share your thoughts down in the comments section below. Hit like and hit subscribe too. As always the product link if you do want to purchase the add-on will be down in the description below and um, we're going to explore a number of different features that this new add-on has to offer in the very near future it's going to be available for those of you who fly in xbox on microsoft flight simulator and game pass cloud and will therefore also be available in the future on the microsoft marketplace so what have aerosoft gone and created for the sim it goes into a lot of detail explaining all the features of the product inside the manual. But in short, what they've done is they've populated the North Sea in fabulous detail. Creating these oil rigs and gas rigs and also a load of wind farms as well. So you can do really cool, very unique offshore ops in uh, helicopters like this, the H145 from High Performance Group or indeed other varieties of aeroplane or helicopter too. As you can see the area around the North Sea is vastly populated with ships, wind farms, various different rigs, lots of different ship traffic as well. They haven't just put in one type of ship here, they've looked at the varying different types of ships using the shipping lanes uh, around the North Sea uh, and they've tried to replicate them as well. What they haven't done is uh, animated them because uh, they would need to, of course, get all of the shipping lane data and animate that really carefully um, in itself would, would be something likely to take many, many years. Um, but as we explore the area here with the Toby Eye Tracker, we're actually in uh, part of the North Sea near to Texel in the Netherlands, in the Frisian Islands exploring some wind farms and some very different rigs as well and uh, you can see here that the rigs have got animations on them so they are relatively alive from a distance they've got a really nice draw look at that that is fantastic very cool indeed one thing that's really quite cool is they haven't just done the North Sea they've actually also populated elements of the Atlantic Ocean the English Channel and the Irish sea as well so around the UK and the North Sea across to the Netherlands there is a really extensive region of shipping lanes that have been detailed with static ships of various types and uh, wind farms and oil and gas rigs too which is great because what it does is it offers us the ability to look down even in the airliners and see a vast busy North Sea as you would in real life when you're exploring uh, or going flying for real which is really nice what it also means is you can spend some time exploring all the different rigs all the different landmarks and locations in the region in a helicopter very cool switching to nighttime for those of you who like to explore in the depths of night around the North Sea you can see that they've actually detailed the helipads and the rigs in uh, really exquisite lighting to be fair very very cool indeed look at that and off in the distance there as well you can see the varying different ships and rigs off in the distance and the beacon lights around the wind farms illuminating as well so from a few thousand feet above using the tranquility of a glider today in this instance you can see the uh, wind farms are animated even from this high up and it does give you a really nice depth of vision in the area. Off in the distance uh, in the wingtip more wind farms stretching away off into the horizon there look at that vast area that's animated and detailed here with this package ships off on the horizon to the left as well and uh, what they've also done is they've added in various NDBs too. So if you look at the manual that's included in this in the documents folder, what you will see is uh, a large number of 
different ICAO codes for places you can spawn to and select inside the MSFS menu and various different NDBs for some of them as well. So if you wanted to fly towards the Asgard Alpha uh, facility, Echo November Uniform Alpha to spawn there, you could also track it using the NDB 402. And uh, my recommendation here would be to explore um, using the manual because there are pages and pages and pages uh, of different substations, offshore wind farms, and uh, that sort of thing that you can explore. Various different longitude and latitudes, some of them with spawnable ICAO codes and some of them with NDBs. Perhaps one of the clearest ways to show you guys what is included is to show you Appendix C from the manual and all of those little blips and dots covering this huge area that is where you will find something included in this package so all the way to the Outskerries across to the fjords north of uh, Amsterdam uh, down through the English Channel past Calais all of the North Sea across to the Irish Sea and elements of the Atlantic Ocean all detailed as well and uh, probably my last little bit to show you guys, you also have the crew boat included. It's in the in-sim menu, it is drivable. Uh, spawning can be a bit tricky if you do uh, spawn in uh, the middle of the Atlantic Sea or the uh, North Sea, for example, near an installation. You'll find you start in the air, but a quick slew sure fixes that. Uh, but there we go, Aerosoft's North Sea Landmarks pack for Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's out now. Hope you've enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I hope to see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.